Hi everyone, my name is Carmen from New Leaf Designs and welcome to this tutorial video for the mattress stitch. The mattress stitch is very handy for connecting two pieces of stockinette fabric um, and I'm going to show you how to do it vertically. Here you can see a finished mattress stitch seam. On the inside, it looks like this. And the thread that you are using to sew it up, you can see it here. So it won't show on the fabric. So it doesn't matter which color you are using to sew it together. You can see here I have these strips of fabric. One has an end here. You could also use that. I'm going to show you how to um, do the mattress stitch with a new piece of thread. So we are going to be doing the mattress stitch in a column of stitches and we are going to be picking that middle bar in between the stitches and you want it to be as close to the edge as possible um, if I slightly roll this fabric out to be flat you can see that there is one one more stitch right here since the edge stitch is always going to be a little bit irregular we are going to skip the edge stitch and use the column of stitches um, besides that for the very first stitch we want to go in that column and we want to pick the very first one And it's a little bit more difficult to see here, but I'll show you clearly on this piece, which is very light. So I can see the cast on row and I'm going to go one above that. On this side, you want to leave enough of the thread to sew it in later. Now I'm going to show you on this piece of fabric so here we also have the edge stitches and then the first column of stitches besides that and again so i'm going in this column of stitches and picking the bar in in the v and I'm going, you see here, we can see the cast on edge. It's a little bit distorted here, but I went one stitch above the cast on edge. So I'm going to pick this one. So I'm going through that stitch. And for the next stitches, we're going one above the stitch that we just did. So one bar above. If this tends to happen, <laughs> then you've probably picked a thread that's too long. And on the other side, we're also going to pick one bar above the bar we just picked up. Here again. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to pull it tight now so it'll be a bit easier so I'll make sure that I'll grab these two threads and the edges of the fabric and then I'll, I pull this and then we continue and hopefully these won't get as much in the way now the most difficult part right now is seeing where you just came out of the stitch which bar you just use and which bar to use now so I can see you can pull it apart just a little bit I can see that we've used this bar so I'm going in here One of the things you want to look out for is that you're not going back into your sewing thread because then you, you won't be able to zip it up. When you're ready to zip two sides together, grab a hold of the, the start and then pull the thread until everything is zipped. And then you can tug on the seam a little bit more so just that it's not too much, um, that it's not too cinched in. And then again, it's a matter of finding where which bar you just used and which bar you need to use now i would say that that's one of the most difficult parts about mattress stitch so one is finding which bar you need to use the other one is not going into the thread that you need that you are sewing up with and the other one is, let me just, <laughs> okay, another one here. So sometimes you're not just picking up the bar, but also a little bit of the edge stitch. That doesn't really matter, but it might make it, make it a little bit more difficult to pull through. So, and the other one is that you need to make sure you're using this bar in the column you've always been using and not the column next to that because you will see that in the seam. After I've done a bit, I always rotate my work so that the pieces are laying horizontally and I find it a bit easier to manage 
my pieces here. When you come to the end, let me show you uh, row that I've finished. So when you come to the end, um, if all is well, then your sides will match up and the thread that I used to do the mattress stitch with, which is this blue thread, I've already sewn that into this seam. You could do the same. So say this was a thread and I would just weave it in the seam. Just a bit further. And then after a while, come back. And weave it in like that. And that's going to be good enough to hold the seam. Alright, so that's how you do mattress stitch. If you're running out of yarn with mattress stitch, then what you do is you just sew through a couple more stitches. You take your new piece of thread and then so here is the last stitch that we went through we want to go through that or come out of that again with the with the new yarn So I'm going to leave a length of yarn here for sewing. I'm going to tuck this behind the work as well. And I continue with the new yarn. And then after a few stitches, I'm ready to pull on the thread. So I'm taking the old yarn and pulling that and then holding the new yarn here and pulling that as well. And that is how you join a new thread. And then afterwards, you can sew in both ends on the seam here.